Hi guys, welcome to Amaranth. Um, hope you all are doing well today. Guys, this will be a video for the zodiac sign of Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter placements. Um, this will be a general collective reading, so not all messages will resonate with you. So please take the ones that organically do and do not forcefully apply any message to your situation. Also, these messages are for the next two to three days, and then we'll do another energy check-in. So Capricorn, with that being said, let's get into your messages and see what's coming through. Your first card out is the Four of Pentacles. This is Earth, Energy, Minor, Arcana. Um, yeah, you're, uh, you're the Earth element of the Zodiac. So I feel that Four of Pentacles, okay, it's about holding tight, holding on to the resources. But for you, Capricorn, you know, I feel that this is not about counting pennies, Um, I feel that this is about security, holding tight onto security, holding a little bit too tightly, right? It's like, um, you know, I feel that there is a need right now, Capricorn, for you to find that balance, um, you know, between spending and saving. Um, <clears throat> I'm getting, you know, Uncle Scrooge swimming in his money bin kind of a vibe um yeah so maybe you're trying to save for a trip or a vacation or i don't know are you too much obsessed with um you know those diamonds or platinums jewelry gold and things like that are you kind of collecting too much of that so I feel there is a need for you to maybe, you know, balance out those energies, how much you purchase, what are you purchasing, what are you holding on to too tightly, um, you know, because I mean, just holding and holding and or just holding on tightly to your resources is, you know, kind of, you have to think too much before you're spending or you may not even like that you spent money. So you're not finding the joy, even you've spent the money, you're not finding that joy. Um, so yeah, I mean, that little dash a uh, little bit sprinkle of spending is good too right To but when you spend make sure that you're having fun with that spending or else like yeah don't spend otherwise so that's the kind of vibe i'm getting with this four of pentacles let's take a look at some more next you have is the four of wands four of wands but it's in the reverse for you wands is um fire elements fire energy Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius, these are the fire elements of the zodiac. So four of wands reverse is, I'm getting, you know, like somebody planned a party, but nobody showed up for it. So now you have like, you know, that's what it's appearing to me. It's like you planned something and now there are, you know, those decoration is there and then there is such a big, gigantic, majestic cake. And now how are you going to eat this alone? How are you going to finish it off? Or maybe you, you know, I'm also getting like, maybe you forgot to send the invites. I mean, duh, not really. Um, or let's uh, say that you invited the people, but now you planned a karaoke party, right? And... Now you're singing out loud into that microphone and that's scaring people off and they're, you know, they're wanting to leave the party or something like that. Some kind of a celebration that fizzled out is what I'm getting, right? Uh, maybe there was some poor planning that happened or maybe did you forget the guest of honor um, or did you forget to come to the party? <laughs> okay so anyways what i'm saying is that uh, maybe you didn't put the right decor maybe you need to pull, pull you need you should have pulled out that disco ball or pod that disco ball or you know or maybe you know plan something that's fun some party games or um you know some dance music maybe you didn't invite the right kind of a dj and now you have the giant griffin cake which is sitting for you to be eaten up something like that kind of a vibe something gone wrong maybe something that was not planned out properly gone wrong so now you're like wondering what do i do you know you're not you, you don't have a plan now what do you do now so that's why it's turned into disappointment next you have is the five of cups this is a little bit of an emotional energy right it's not feeling so great with the turnout because the four of wands is in the reverse so 
you know i'm getting that kind of um some disappointment out here you know something that went wrong something that you feel bad about uh, some of you might be a little bit teary and it's like who is me kind of an energy you know but you're not looking at the good stuff y you know it's like y you got a ice cream from a shop and then uh, the cone fell off and then there uh, and then you're sad about it whereas you know you're not seeing that oh you know look there's something better there's that good good nice sunday which is you know still there at the shop that you can buy and try and you can have the cone the next time so it's that kind of a vibe where you're not looking at how much goodness there is around you but there is something that went wrong and that's making you emotional so it's time to chin up capricorn um you know i mean there are blessings look at the back i'm i'm getting that seashells you know there are full seashells out here in the background these are seashells of blessings you know blessings of mermaids like they say and you're missing out on those so forget everything that went wrong you know let the bygones be bygones just forget whatever drama happened just let it go so just go you know do your thing enjoy you know fill your own cup and there's happiness waiting for for you actually and you're not you're not paying attention to it you're not giving it the time of the day so now with these three cards in the spread i'm definitely getting a vibe like you know a party crasher with a hoarding problem you know i feel like um, uh, definitely something flopped you know um and then now there's tears feeling bad something did not work out something rained on your something or someone rained on your parade with some negativity around and now you are stuck here you have to you know you're kind of i feel guarding your treasures but see the real uh, treasure is what you're missing out in those two cups that's the real joy so it's just let that pity party go away okay and don't hold on to those resentments or grudges just let it go you can still have another party right or you can just dance by yourself so look at the bright side there is a bright side to your situation it's not all doom and gloom you know and just go spend some money and you know even the money cannot buy happiness is a cliche but it can you know at some times if you go go do some shopping go shop yourself something nice or eat something nice or um go watch a nice movie in a theater you know so that will surely turn the frown upside down capricorn okay that's the kind of vibe i'm getting for you guys see the good thing here is that it's all minor arcana minor arcana anyways will only be you know playing out in the next just for the few days or maybe even hours for some of you so you know don't sit in that energy shift your energies the moment you walk out of the door and do something you know even if you have to push yourself for it it will shift the energies and make you feel better that's the only anecdote to this capricorn and it's in your hands nobody can force you to do anything right nobody can drag you out to a party so just take those steps when you know you can let's take a look at some more messages for you capricorn there you go you have the fox energy look tricky tricky vibes you know ha put on your mischievous hat capricorn you know um i'm getting that bugs bunny with that bushy foxtail kind of a vibe right so even if you have a problem whatever that problem is whatever caused that pity party or whatever or whoever you know whatever strategy was used whatever negativity came your way it's time to outsmart it you know not not out scream it so you know use your brain use that wit use that smartness that fox wit that fox smartness to you know to shift your energies to dodge this negativity you know and um put in some humor guys you know if you just laugh about it laugh about what happened because it's not going to matter in the next few years 
just distract yourself. It's like, you know, when somebody is fighting and you're like, look, 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 look at the butterfly. That kind of a distraction. And those people are distracted and they're looking here and there and they forget about what they were fighting about. That kind of a distraction, you know. Be smart about the situation. See, there must be a lesson. You must have learned something out of it. Somebody must have shown their true colors. Now you know you don't want them as your friend or you don't want the situation ever again. So you're going to save yourself trouble in the future. So look at it that way. And be flexible with whatever you learn. You might have to change, uh, you know, a thing or two about somebody. But that's okay. That's life, right? Go do your mischievous thing. Go play some pranks, you know. Be witty about it. So, and you know what? You're going to learn something about how you can handle these kind of situations. So next time you're stuck, you can just, you know, bring your inner fox out and use those smarts to create a win-win situation for yourself, right? So just use a little bit of fun and humor in this situation, right? Um, just don't go stealing any chickens, Capricorn, unless it's just a prank, which I don't think it is. <laughs> so anyways, let's take a look at some more messages for you. Next you have is the Hukma, right? Which is the right eye wisdom, exactly. The right eye wisdom, well, let me see here. So what does this tell you? I'm getting a vibe, you know, even before this, I'm getting, you know, you know, the essence of things. When we speak about essences is what I'm getting. You will get the true nature of something. It's like, you know, the, what's the essence of that? What's the essence of burnt toast, you know? The essence is not really about squeezing oranges for juice, right? It's to tap into the true nature that oranges can be squeezed. Um, so see the true colors of the world. Okay. Um, whether it's your, you know, it's an office situation, business situation, or something in your office space that, you know, maybe somebody was grumpy, not having a good day, and let it out on you. Or, you know, it's like looking deeper, looking beyond the superficiality of what happened. See the humor in it. See the magic in it. See that weirdness that makes life so interesting, right? It's like, it's like pulling out, you know, it's like, you know, the disco ball, when we have the disco ball, it has those fu funny edges, right? Because it reflects the reality of what's going on, right? That's why it has those reflective edges. You still dance no matter what you see out there happening. You still dance to it. Dance to the beat of the universe is what the message here is for you in terms of, looking into the reality of the situation whatever bummed you out has a message for you something which is very important something which will come in handy later on in time okay so see it for what it is see it for the magic that it creates in your life later down the line now coming to this hukma hukma is not those wisdom cookies right even though those wisdom cookies are like really funny but it's about that seeing things without having their fil without having the filters on right it's a giant brain which is floating in space which is firing off random facts and those philosophical jokes so hokma is what it's that spark that spark that will generate those ideas you know it's like the moment when you you know fall on a strip on a banana peel and you realize that uh, you can invent something that will prevent people from falling off the banana skin, right? Maybe, yeah, it's like getting an idea, uh, getting a genius idea out of suffering because you fell on the banana peel. Maybe you invent some roller skates that, you know, a banana powered roller skate or something like that. So looking at things, looking at world, looking at things from a newer, fresher perspective, even though, um, you know, it's like, yeah, things will make you laugh. You're like, why? People can do this. Yeah, it's a little bit too much sometimes. But then, you know, it's like you get that information shots that, you know, too much to look at, too much to see, things that you ignored. 
before that were not visible to you. You know, so it's like some of you might be reading up too much, uh, maybe researching up too much or learning about things of the past or of the current of some event. But it's like, you know, that's learning too much, that wisdom overdrive. So it's like, yeah, gather the information, but again, you know, you need to focus, channel that energy, channel that information into creating something in. Um, smart for yourself you know having that laser beam intellect kind of an eye for things okay you might end up creating something you know really brilliant out of this situation that disappointed you that could benefit a lot of people right so now let's take a look okay 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 so we need okay let's wrap up your messages soon Capricorn Okay, here is your last message and we wrap up this reading. It says, all that is. It says, today I notice the love that powers all of life. I see that each tiny part of the universe is an expression of that love and I am aware of the presence of God in all things. I open myself to this magic. I marvel at the splendor of all that is, of which I am truly a part. Exactly. We're part of this universe right we part we can't be alone we can't exist alone when we're part of this universe we discover things right one thing at a time and we form and create our life out of all these experiences that we have of being a part of this universe and the collective and the and the community that we belong to right so those were your messages capricorn hope they were of some help to you guys thank you guys for watching thank you for your support of this channel i truly appreciate each and every one of you and i will see you in the next one take care guys have a good one bye for now